I'm going to attempt to recover the photos on this SD card. I'll put it in. It's asking me to. Wait, it ain't even recognising it. So there's something seriously wrong. It's not even asking me to format it. So this is my personal computer, but I do have some software on here. I've got about four professional softwares that I can use, including JPEG Digger, which is one of the best for getting photos off. But I was going to try our studio today, just because I want to use the image here. So here is the generic device. It's recognised it's 3.6 gigabyte, which is a good sign. So I'm just going to create an image that you can use this and set this up to rescue or take an image of failing drives. You can multi-pass, I can go in reverse. There's a lot of options I can do to try and get an image off a damaged device. That's one good thing about professional software. But on this one, I'm just going to do a basic image. So it's going to do an image. It won't take long, but I'll uh, turn it off while it's doing it. So it's nearly done. But I'm just monitoring this, make sure there's no bad sectors, or just get an idea of what is being imaged and how good the drive is. There's a lot of technology and software development that goes into making sure this makes a good image. But anyway, that's image is done. I'll just shut them down. I'm going to remove this SD card now. So that will be returned to you exactly as it is. Unless I can find the stuff that you want and I'll put it back on. So I'm going to open the image and I'm going to work from the image. That means that we're not damaging the SD card any further. So I'll just scan that now. There's all sorts of things I can scan for and ways that I can do it to try and pull as much data off as possible. It's going to scan through. I'll come back when it's done. So anyway, there you go. Pretty easy to do. I've got about four different professional softwares that I'll run this image through and just make sure we get everything that can be retrieved off it.